I think what the Lawson Institute will do is help us to live further into the values we already have around justice making. And the reason uh, for that is we understand that a better world is a more sacred world. One way to accomplish that is going to be to pursue the kinds of tactics that the good reverend pursued, that is the pursuit of a nonviolent strategy. Now, that's not necessarily liberal or conservative. This is something that there's a huge amount of research behind it. There needs to be more research about it. We need to know under what conditions it works, it doesn't work, especially as our society has been a little too violent. And being able to do it under the name of James Lawson just gives it new life. This fall, we'll begin a film series where we look at um, films about Reverend Lawson, but also about nonviolence practice in general. We're thinking about the work of um, Lawson, Fannie Lou Hamer, global nonviolent philosophies and practices. How do we begin to move all of us um, through our intellectual practice and relational lives toward that way of being? How do we do the slow, hard work of changing our society? You know, Lawson talks about working with groups to disrupt and dismantle the United States' love affair with violence. What we want to do as a school institutionally is to teach and research and serve in a way that helps bring in what we say um, in some of the Christian traditions, a new heaven and a new earth that is transformation of the world. We don't think that's a utopian value. We don't think that's a political value. We think that's deeply spiritual, to be true partners with God in bringing in the new, the transformed.